Hi, this is Deb Colling at Northwest College, and this is a tutorial to show you how to find out if Northwest College's Hinckley Library has a particular journal title within its collection. Let's say that your research uncovered a good-looking article on Sarah Kimball Knight in women's, the Women's Studies Journal, written by a woman named Balkan back in 1998. Will you be able to find that journal and that article in our library? The place to start is on Hinckley Library's home page, which you see pictured here. Then click on Find Articles and More. That link takes you to a more detailed page about our databases, and one of the first links is for an extremely good tool called Serials Locator. A serial is a publication which comes out serially, like a journal, like a magazine, like a newspaper. Click on it. That link will open up the Serials Locator page where you'll be invited to enter in the name of the periodical that you're looking for. I've put in Women's Studies here, and then I'll hit the search button. The search results list all records which contain the phrase Women's Studies within the title. As you can see, it's a pretty impressive and detailed list. The item we're interested in, however, is the first one. From this entry, you can see that we have issues of the Women's Studies Journal in two databases in our library, the Academic Search Premier Database and the Literature Resource Center. Looking at the dates, it becomes clear that the Academic Search Premier Database is where we want to look because our publication comes from 1998, which means it will be contained there. Now it's simply a matter of clicking on the Academic Search Premier link and then following the information that you're given to take you to the right issue. By following the links that Serials Locator gives you, you'll eventually end up in Academic Search Premier with an EBSCO host. Serials Locator will have filled in all the information in the first search line here, and all I've done is add a little more information in the second one, in other words, a little bit of title information, to narrow my results. And the result is exactly the article that I'm looking for. Just as the database promised, we have it in full text, both as a web page and as a PDF. You should always use the PDF version if it's made available to you. You don't have to narrow your search more than Serials Locator gives you, and there are actually some advantages to that. If you leave it so you're looking at the entire issue, you'll see the table of contents for the entire magazine. What you see here, then, is the original article that I was interested in, but in addition to that, I see that the next article looks like it might relate to my topic of Sarah Kimball Knight as well. It might be worth taking a look at. We call this finding a good source through serendipity. I would add this important reminder to your search process. Even if Hinckley Library doesn't have the particular article you're looking for, you don't have to give up because our librarians can get it for you from another library by using our interlibrary loan service. Just contact a librarian for help. Good luck with your research, and don't hesitate to contact me or one of the librarians if we can give you some help.